automatically uh, injected iframe, I'm sorry, automatically injected Java applet, you see it's signed by Slashdot itself, and as soon as he clicks it, did you guys notice where he went? He went right back to Slashdot.org, the real site. So what it actually does is once, the, once you click the run, it executes the payload, it redirects them back to the legitimate site, so they never even knew that they were at a malicious site in general. On our opposite machine, we can actually click links. I mean, it's all pretty much slashed out right there, so you see it. On our opposite machine, we've got a Materper console. Done. So I have, to, I have to thank Thomas Worth uh, for this, uh, this Java Applet payload. We've been working back and forth very heavily integrating this into SET. Uh, this is an unpublished Java Apple that hasn't been released before, uh, releasing it today. So again, if you're using Backtrack 4, you update, you'll have this attack available to you right now. Uh, really, really special thanks to him. Um, it supports all the Metasploit payloads out there for the most part. It supports 64-bit, uh, x86, everything's good from that. Um, payloads are encoded using the Metasploit encoder, so Shikata or UTF, all those ones are definitely usable. Um, and the really cool part is it redirects them back to the original site. So whatever site you clone, regardless of what it is, if it is CNN or Google or whatever, as soon as they run that payload, boom, it executes, and they're back to their normal site again. Uh, it's universal, works for everything. It does not require VBScript or uh, WScript. So the web attack vector, um, it allows both jo the Java applet attacks and the Metasploit browser attacks. So the latest Aurora attacks are in there, all the client-side exploits that are out there. So you don't have to use a Java applet. You can also use Metasploit text with that, and it's the same. It's the same feature. So you clone the website, it automatically injects the Metasploit uh, exploits into there for you, and as soon as you browse the site, you're good to go. It allows you to self-sign the Java applet. Uh, it does require Open JDK. Uh, it requires JDK or you know, Open JDK. All those ones work. Some some works, and it clones the entire website and injects into it. You can also import your own websites. Uh, so if you have a website that you've developed in-house, you can import that, uh, as well as um, Set automatically has uh, pre-built-in websites that you can use as well. So if you don't have internet access, or you want to want, it looks all jacked up saying, hey, you need to run this update in order for it to work. Uh, there's a couple of those built in for you as well. Uh, so there's also the spear phishing email attack aspect of, of ODAF4 as well. First thing we're going to do is edit our second fig, right? Let's go in there and see if there's any options that we want to change. Again, it integrates into header cap, um, the self send applets, all those good things. We're going to turn off email attack on this one since we're not going to be using the Java applet, but you can keep it on, it doesn't matter. One additional uh, feature that people have been asking me for is what if uh, the, the way set actually detects what your IP address is. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> We made all this. Come on! Come on! There's two? How many of you guys got out there? There's three! Misdirection of a horrible shot! Thanks, guys. That's why they lose. That's why. Good. I'm in the Wilson uh, one getting, getting the snow thrown at me, so it's great. I'm glad I paused it. I mean, man. So you're on set? Oh, that's fine. Is that yellow snow? So we're going to use a spear phishing attack, <coughs> and uh, basically what that's going to allow you to do is import all of the uh, browser exploit. I'm sorry, the file format exploits within Metasploit, um, and incorporate that into email attacks. You can use mass emails, uh, so you can have a list of email addresses that you can actually go and send the emails to, um, but also integrates very heavily into the payloads as well. So you can specify whatever uh, file format bug you want that's built into there, and then send it out to a specific person and email it to them.
him about five minutes. So we're going to email to a single address. We're going to do the same poor guy. I have security2009 at uh, Gmail. But again, it will integrate into whatever you want. Now, what's cool with set is it has predefined templates. So it has about six or seven predefined templates that you can actually use. Or you can create your own. So when you go into set, it'll, it has a, a special menu where you say create your own template. And then you would you know, create your own social engineering template. And it can be used every single time that you launch set from now on then. Uh, it's dynamically imported every time. So again, we're going to use I have security 2009 at Gmail and then my email address. And then I'll go out and shoot the email to him. So we got our handle from Metasploit. We're going to go to our crypto machine. You see there, it's just a pre-template pre that I used within set. I'm going to save it, and I'm going to run it. As soon as I open it, on the other side, we got our Metaspoil um, interpreter console. phishing attack uh, allows you to email Metasploit file format payloads, uh, bugs, and uh, utilizes Metasploit encoding. The default is the PDF embedded EXEs, uh, but you can use whatever one you want to. That's the latest and greatest. It dynamically imports them in for Metasploit, so you don't have to worry about it being updated. Customizable emails, you can create your own customized templates. Some more features. Uh, the ability to, to highly customize the attacks to the second fig is a very important part. So when you're going through and using set, make sure you, you hit those config files. Uh, it does allow you to utilize Ettercap Arcash poisoning, and what it'll do is it'll actually, uh, if you're doing the web attack, it'll Arcash uh, individuals, and it'll replace all the HREFs and whatever sites that they're visiting. So as soon as they browse Google.com or whatever like that, it'll automatically inject into that, and, and you can, uh, it'll touch your malicious site. So if you're doing something internally, uh, it works very good. Uh, so final thoughts. I really like to thank Thomas Worth for all of his help, uh, for the, the wicked Java app that he uh, did. I mean, it's it's great, great addition to set. And what's great with that is I'm getting a lot of contributors. Uh, it's gotten a lot of popularity. We have over 307,000 uh, downloads since uh, version 0.1, which is a great thing. Uh, and that's unique downloads. Uh, so it's getting a lot of backing and a lot of help from a lot of people out there, and it's really appreciative of everybody. Uh, I'm going to skip Logan WHD from saying uh, <laughs> I want to thank him. But I, I want to thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fat32 and Elwood, uh, those guys are, are very... Uh, <laughs> Very big contributors and, and, and creators of the social dash engineer dot org. Uh, great site. When you called that thirty two your what did you what did you call it? <laughs> tech support weenie. Yeah, like Fat Thirty Two is my tech support weenie, so that just hurts. Uh, and one thing about set is it's a work in progress. You know, I started on it a little bit ago. It's a hobby, it's not a job. Uh, so if you guys have any features or anything you want to add to it, just email me and I'd be more than welcome to help you add it to it. Again, you can download right now by updating backtrack four. Uh, is that nine? <laughs> <laughs> or if you give me twenty, you send me twenty bucks. I'll give you a T on the USB drive. Either way. Um, but one thing to note is I, I uh, the new website uh, sacmaniac.com, not sacmaniac.com. <laughs> <laughs> Next week you'll be able to SVN check it out. So SVN uh, space co space SVN dot sacmaniac.com slash social engineering toolkit, um, and that'll get you the latest and greatest for uh, set o dot four, and also be able to download it from download link on sacmaniac.com. I appreciate your time, guys. Thanks. Good job. Dave, I'm glad at least you have one. <laughs> so uh, from this point on, let, let's keep it to schmoo balls, not snowballs. Um, so while we're setting up... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.